What's going on everyone? Miguel here at Retro Basement coming at you again. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button to let you know when I come out with new videos. Also check out my contest below for 12 months of Funko Pop, Curse Castilia, the Vita game that I'm giving away, and also the survey um, that I need you guys to fill out where I will be giving away five Funko Pops. So it's like Christmas on my channel with being nowhere near Christmas. But um Please fill out that survey. It helped me out a lot in regards to something I'm doing within a class. I'm taking it takes about five to ten minutes of your time. I would greatly appreciate it. And make sure you enter those contests. Because hey, fortune might smile on you in regards to a good deed that you did to help either, you know, a fellow YouTuber out or, you know, a person's channel that you like to watch. If it's me or, you know, whatever. I'm just hoping you guys fill it out. Fill out a survey, please. Anyway. And like and subscribe and hit that bell button to let you know when I come up with new videos. This video is based on BR. VR, not BR, VR. I wanted to show you my collection and I'm trying to get a complete collection of um, VR stuff. So my, this is not my first VR game, but I'm showing you off my entire VR collection thus far. Um, I want to have every game. So by maybe next month or the month after, I'm going to try to buy every VR game that I don't have just to complete the collection. The good thing about VR, not a lot of stuff comes out. Anyway, this might kind of be a long one because showing every VR game that I have, even duplicates. But starting off, this is the first one, Rick and Marty. It's not the first I've ever bought, but the first I'm showing. So um, here it is here. I think it's pretty cool. Haven't played it yet, but it comes with an awesome chase pop. So yeah, I don't know if they're still selling this one, but... If you want to get, if you're into VR and you like Rick and Marty, I think you'll like this. I haven't had a chance to play any VR. My VR is still sealed. But I've been collecting all the games for it. Maybe I'll bust it open if you guys want me to just to, you know, make this also a VR channel. Show what that PlayStation Pro can do. But um, here's the other VR game that I have, PlayStation Demo Disc. It's kind of beat up because they sent it in a plastic wrapper from... Um, what was it called? I got, I believe I got it from Amazon or eBay, probably eBay. I tend to get VR games from there. They're in Best Buy. Those are my three places. Sometimes I find them cheaper on Amazon and I don't, oh, it's Amazon. Duh. Sticker right here. And um, they did not pack this game, right? What's a little irritating. Um, I'll replace the case later. Or if you guys want to send me a case, let me know. This is a GameStop exclusive. Home Sweet Home. I got it not long ago. And yeah, it's a horror game, so. Home sweet home. And here's another one. Bear with me. Like I said, it's going to be a long video because there's a lot of VR games to show you. Drive Club VR. Still sealed. I'm going to look at the back here. And this will give you a general idea of what VR games you might want. Maybe to help you out. And I got Apex Construction. It's not the same as the Apex um, game that everyone's playing right now. That's gaining a lot of followers. Almost like instant success over the night for a free to play. Might give Fortnite a run for his money. And here's um, another VR game. It's a double pack, the Assembly and Perfect. It's a um, UK game, hence the sticker here. And right here, I haven't played it yet, so I can't tell you what category, category it fits in. And here is a uh, Ultimate VR Collection. And this has a little bit of everything on it, like Fated and some other stuff. So, yeah, I bought all this stuff and I had a little bit of change in my pocket. So before they went up in price, because I know some VR games can get pretty rare. And once they start getting rare, they get very expensive. Here's um, Hustler King. As you can see, it's a pool table VR game. Don't know how that works out, but it's from the UK. Like quite a few of them that I've been showing you. UK gets some good stuff. This is a, uh, it's not a fan game, but that other one, I Am 8-Bit game. I don't think they sell it anymore. But it's Res, it was on other systems. I think it was on Dreamcast, maybe, or something like that. It was on one of those older systems back in the day. Or maybe PlayStation 2, one of them. Or maybe both. <laughs> Let me pull this one apart. But, uh, geez, it got stuck to the sticker. Thank you, GameStop, for putting stickers on everything. But, um, Super Stardust Ultra. And this is a, uh, if I remember correctly, it's a shoot 'em up. And it looks pretty good. And uh, here's another one I got from GameStop, but it's not a GameStop exclusive, the Invisible Invis Hour. So uh, it looks pretty good. It looks like a mystery game to me. Um, 
could be wrong could be wrong and here's um where is it i know i got something else i want to show you guys i put it somewhere oh it's right over there the light that i have on is kind of blinding sometimes so you guys can see me and so you can see the software but um four point also have i think i have a bundle for four point no that's not four point bundle never mind but four point does have a cool little gun bundle or something like that here's bravo team i hear it's trash but it looks cool Another man's trash is another man's treasure. Here's another shooting up game, Doom VR. It's funny because VR, and this is a limited run game called Volume. Not available anymore, came out a while. Some of these games that you want them, I have extra copies of if you want to uh, trade with me or shoot me over a price. Uh, this is not a VR game, I'm not even sure what it is, but I'll show you. It's um. Island Flight, but it's not a VR game. Some some of my regular games sometimes get mixed up in there. Um, this is Summer Lessons and Nihongo. Nihongo meaning Japanese game from Bandai Namco. This one's kind of expensive. Um, I think PlayAge still has it though. Here is another VR game. Gran Turismo Sports. And I don't remember. It doesn't have a sticker. This is Japanese. This is Japanese version. It was super cheap, so I just got it. I already have like two copies of this. One I think's American and one's um something else. But don't knock twice. That's another VR game. It's horror, as you can tell. And this is a UK. UK has so much. The sis, the sus, something like that. The sus. But um UK game. Looks I'm not sure what category it places, but it looks fun. I really need to open up my VR. Um, Starblood Arena, yeah, Starblood Arena. This looks it looks like another shoot 'em up or something, a ship based game where you're in the cockpit. And I have a lot more guys, so we're gonna be here for a sec. Here's um, Until Dawn: Rush of Blood. I wonder if it's related to the other Until Dawn horror game. This is definitely it looks like horror to me though. Right, if you did. But um, here's Psycho Nuts. I got two copies, so if someone wants to trade, let a brother know. But um, probably shouldn't show you the price there. It's probably not that price anymore. But yeah, I got two copies. And they're working on a sequel, not necessarily to the VR, but to the regular game from the Xbox. And I remember that as a kid, man, or as a young adult on um, this game. Yeah, it's it's a. I, I haven't played it, but I have. I have a feeling I really enjoy it because I did like the unique art style and everything that was going on with the original game. Somehow I got two copies of something. This is crazy. You know, I forget that I have stuff. So if someone wants to trade, I have two copies of this and I believe this is new. Yeah, it is new actually. So I showed you this. I have two copies of this. That's funny. Um, yeah, so the cycle nuts in this could be a trade for something I don't have if you want to. And... um. I was trying to, you know, trade games without spending, you know, too much money if we can come to terms. Um, MR4, it's another one. Man, I should have bought some water, guys. I'm getting thirsty over here. Because, and there's no end to these VR games. I'm trying to figure out. I need to go look at the list, do a cross out, and see what I'm missing. I don't think I'm missing that many. But they don't really put out that many. And when they do, they don't put out a huge print number. Paranormal Activities, this was on sale, like... I don't know how many times at Best Buy. And this is the American copy. After showing you so many UK copies. The Impatient. This was on sale for a while too at Best Buy. Looks fun. And my my pro, I think I'm going to love these. Because I love Persona. Um, I even have the Vito one. I think I'm missing something out of Persona 2. And they're coming out with a Persona Q for the 3DS. I know we're not getting that many games left for the 3DS. But I really want that Persona Q too, man. I really want it. But, um, I don't know. I have to get it at a later time. Can't keep spending money. Not a trust fund baby, although it'll be nice. Persona 5. And, um, these, by the way, guys, um, these are still on sale as of today for this video. They go off on Sunday. If you have the gamers, rewards, buyers, whatever for Best Buy, if you still have that, like I do, or if you want to use mine and we can, you can figure out something, you can shoot me the cash or whatever, PayPal. And I uh, send the game to your place um, if you want to. I'm willing to do that for people. So 
I still have the Gums Reward. You know, you can shoot me like a tip of five bucks if you want to, or you don't have to. I'm not a nasty person, so I'm willing to help people out. But anyway, Persona 5. Um, $31, man. Considering I think the, the dual thing with the metal case and everything is 100 31 for so I paid 60 for both like 62 or something like that and some change So that was a really good deal my gamers club for both of these You know when the two pack of this with a little special casing is a hundred bucks. I'm like nah, man I, I go with this. This is fine for me I want to have a complete set, but I don't have to have like every variant as long as my set is complete This is a GameStop exclusive um Dorick Sen or something. I don't know. My pronunciation is so off on this. They didn't have it listed. Well, they didn't have a copy on the shelf, so I had to ask for this, and they pulled it from their little stash. I'm like, why don't you have copies of things that you have on the shelf? You could be missing out on sale, and people might leave. I didn't tell them that, but I'm thinking, like, GameStop, come on. This is um Valkyrie, Eve Valkyrie. Um, I believe it's a, like a ship or a mech-based game. But it looks pretty good. I've had it for a long time. Job Simulator, man. Finally tracked it down. If someone has an extra artwork, if you can print me out artwork from yours and make it look legit. And if you can send it to me, send me an email asking for my address because my P.O. box is incorrect. But um, if you have artwork for this that you can print out and make a copy of yours somewhere, and you can send it to me, or you can send me a PDF file and tell me how I can get it printed out at Staples or something, that would help. I'm trying to order another copy of this, but they haven't sent it yet. Sometimes GameStop stores. That's the good thing about having GameStop around, though. I don't have to spend a hundred something dollars to get this off eBay. I can spend like 40 something or 50 something because I have the Elite Pro which just expired. And I'll talk about that in another video. And what I thought about the Elite Pro card. But um, I don't like to talk about the same thing that everybody else is talking about on their YouTube channels because that gets boring and nobody wants to hear that. Here's the original Resident Evil before they did the, uh, the updated version with DLC and stuff. And it doesn't have the VR thing. That's the reason why I haven't really went after the other one I just have this original one the OG one with the uh, you know the VR logo on it which is one of the best games they have for VR go figure this is a limited run games VR one it's um pixel gear it looks like a lot of fun too it looks good but um, I haven't had a chance to play it this is the Robinsons which is going up in price um GameStops tend to have it for a fairly uh, cheap it might not be up in price it, it fluctuates i mean when i say it's going up in price it fluctuates here's creed haven't seen the second movie first movie man i loved it darn i need water <laughs> i didn't say damn i said darn now i just said damn but yeah creed so i hear it's okay you know the graphics are eh, a little bit animated and one of the best games on vr along with resident evil astro bot i got it for holly nothing best buy when they were having a a cell so I definitely recommend it if you I'm trying to stack these right so I don't have like a everything capsizing on me I'm about to put these all back on my shelf once I'm done fruit ninja which is a UK game UK gets a lot that we don't get man do they like VR more than we do or do they just get considered more you know oh man I think super uh, hot VR so yeah this check it out check it out it's a gun game I believe looks very old schoolish with the graphical style that they're using but it's um i have another extra copy what is wrong with me man i could have used that money to get different games but if you want to do a trade i think i showed you this guys i think i have an extra copy of this so if you want to trade let me know you might have something i don't have um i also sell stuff i sell funko pops and i sell games if i have extra copies i'm willing to trade or meet you below the ebay price a little bit so that's what I base my things off of because, you know, people got to make a few bucks in this life. I, I like to call it my YouTube store slash, I sell on eBay sometimes too, but yeah, if you want something that you see in the video and I have extra copies, so reach out to me through email or leave a message. But Thumper, this is a limited run games VR. I think I missed one limited runs VR game um, that they had extra copies of and they put it back up. And um, Anyway, I just, yeah, this is. I have the um, Switch version of this too. I can't talk right now. I've been talking too much. So this is um, Kabuto Burst Battles. It's not the best game. I played it on Switch. But um, it's VR compatible. So that's one reason why I got it. It's cute. But uh, my, all my VR stuff is about to fall. No. 
But um, here's Dirt Rally right here, another UK game. I'm trying to remember if it came out in the States. I don't remember. War Cave Operate. I should have bought this because I want the American version too. It was $11 at GameStop with my Elite um, Pro a couple of days ago. Before it expired, I would have been able to get it for nothing because I had a $10 um, off used games thing, but I don't have that anymore. And I'm not going to renew it because I don't have money for that. And once you hook me on something that gives me 20% off and you want me to revert back to 10% because you decide, oh, that you're supposedly losing money. If you were losing money, how did you come to, you know, the terms of putting this out there to begin with? You would think that you would have thought. I don't know. I think GameStop lies about stuff sometimes. I just think that the numbers weren't there, not that they were losing money. Not enough people signed up for the Elite Pro. And I'm glad I did. One young lady talked me into it. The American Dream. The American Dream. UK game. People tell me when I'm looking for a certain VR game, I'm looking for a job simulator. Oh, you can get it digital. If I'm not an idiot. If I wanted something digital, I wouldn't be in the store looking for it physical. Oh, you can get it digital. I'm not a digital guy. I'm not a young buck that, you know, I know like having digital helps you with space, but you can't trade it in. You can't get any monetary value in it. Maybe in the future you'll be able to trade in games. And I think maybe Xbox tried something with that. Correct me if I'm wrong. It wasn't so successful. They tried something with trading something, but um, something in regards to digital. Um, here they lie. I believe this is another horror game in the UK. And uh, Riggs, I'm not talking about John Riggs' channel, which um, he has an excellent channel, so go check his out. He doesn't know who I am, but I know who he is. And Loading Humans, Loading Humans. Man, VR just has a lot. I thought I had, I just have a lot of VR games, but I have some extra. So, guys, if you want to trade, Eagle Flight, saw it in GameStop yesterday it was for nothing. I think it was way cheaper than this. It was on clearance, but they really haven't clearanced them out. I think they took the clearance tickets off for it, and they're just regular price now. Regular, cheap, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm at, the Resistance. I think I have the UK version of this too. I don't know. I have so many VR games now. I have stuff that I don't even know I had that I bought double copies of. So here's um, Werewolf Within, which looks awesome. I don't know who's trying to get me on my phone. But stop it. Stop adding sound effects to my video. Third copy of this, man. Someone wants to trade. Let a brother know. But um, this is uh, Pixel Gear limited run game i have another copy of it so if you want it this probably won't last long i'm either throw it up on my store or you know so i can do a trade for something i want which it's limited if you have a vr game for limited run that i don't have let me know i have extra copies of things through my own sheer stupidity uh, zona enders probably gonna be one of my favorite PR games because I, I just love Zona Enders. We really need a part three. It's one of those games. It's very good. And I saw the VR in action because Arizona Sunshine, this is like a zombie game. You're probably like, duh, Miguel, of course it's a zombie game. There's a zombie on the cover, dumbass. But, um, Time Carnage, man. Time Carnage is a UK game and. Looks fun. Actually, looks good. Looks like a shoot 'em up. Not a shoot 'em up. Uh, like a shooting game. One of the best games on VR. Along with Zone of Enders and uh, Cycle Nuts and one of the other ones I showed you. But this is really good from what I hear. I just haven't opened it yet. Moss. People say it didn't have to be in VR, but come on, guys. VR Karts. It's no Mario Kart. I haven't played it, but it doesn't look like no Mario Kart. And now I'm just throwing things down. Bam! Star Trek for you track fans. No, no Star Wars game is on VR to my knowledge yet, but maybe they're working on one. If I if there is one and I missed it, let me know. But I don't think there's a Star Wars game on VR. There's a Star Trek. This is an expensive game. It's a Nihongo, a Japanese game. Um, it's pricey, even when I got it at the time. And here is Ping Pong. Ping pong, ping pong. And last but not least, bam! Another Nihongo game. Or actually, I think this is maybe Chinese. It's 
kanji though. I think this one was a Chinese one. I don't think it was a Japanese one, but No Heroes Allowed VR. Almost reminds me of No More Heroes on Switch, but it looks very fun. It almost looks like a role-playing game or something. Um, yeah, it has this funny new sticker on it, so I know it's new. This one was kind of pricey, too, along with the baseball game. But this is Chinese, I believe, and the baseball game is Nihongo Japanese. So I think this is all for my VR until I get some dough to uh, increase my collection. This video is long, guys. Long. Longer than I want it to be. So I hope you don't lose patience with me. But um, my mouth is so dry. It's like sandpaper. It's like litter. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the VR thing. Um, I'm going to turn my channel into a more VR friendly channel. I'm going to open up my PSVR in the coming whenever. I, it, it'll be soon. So stay tuned. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Let you, let you know when I come out with new videos. And let me know too. I'm just kidding. But also um, remember to check out my contest below for the Cross Castilla, for Vita, and also um, some of my Funko Pop giveaways, 12 months of Funko, Funko Pop every month. Check out Roadhawk Wilson sometimes helps me out with that. Not sometimes. He's been a big help to me. Check out his channel. He's a good guy. We're both trying to improve our content and everything, improve the quality of the audio and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and what else did I want to say to you guys? Take my survey, man. I need your help for this class. Take my survey. Five to ten minutes of your time. And you could be rewarded. I have five Funko Pops on the line that I will ship to anywhere in the world. Hopefully it's not a wrap because they might get blown up um, being sent there. You know how governments are distrusting of each other. So anyway, pff, that's not what my channel's about. Everyone's welcome here. Anyway, guys, um, I'm thinking if I missed out on anything. If you have any questions about any VR games, or is there a certain one that you want me to play? Let me know. Let me know. Comment section below or email me. Or if you want to send me some VR games that you don't want, um, I don't think I'm liked enough for that. But if you want to send me something, I'm always appreciative, appreciative of it. Even if it's a letter, just um, reach out to, to me through email. I'll send you my address until I can get a PO box again. Because I figured I wasn't really getting anything, so it's no use in wasting money. I'm being real, guys. I wasn't really getting anything. So, um, and I don't expect to. People do things out of the kindness of your heart. Uh, their heart. Uh, their heart. But, um... Anyway, guys, I'm going to go do something with myself. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. I have more content coming. I have some reviews to do. I'm trying to get everything back and rolling. The train back up and rolling because it's been stationary for so long. Thank you for sticking in there with me. And thank you for viewing this video. Peace. Love. Adios. Miguel signing out.